All right, this is a quick video as requested by some of my subscribers on my YouTube video on how I do the finger over the trigger guard grip. My take on it. Now, this is just my take on it. So you can do whatever you want with it. It works with for me, but it may not work for everybody. Traditionally, you would have your finger, index finger of your opposite hand underneath the trigger guard and rotate your palm into the gun and you push out in this fashion. And that works great and I do shoot many guns that way. Now finger over the trigger guard, that may not work for every gun that I shoot. So I pick and choose which gun it works for. Now what I would recommend to you is pick one technique that works for that gun and stay with it. For me, I handle various different guns, so I can go back and forth between different guns and it really doesn't bother me. For instance, uh, when I used to shoot the HK USP, I would shoot it like this. And then evolve into something like this. And then when I shoot the polymer weapons like a Glock or P320 series of the six hour, I completely push up on the index finger into the bottom of the front over here, the dust cover. And I don't necessarily put any pressure on it. I just want to get high on it. And I get my palm as high as I can on the support side of the strap here or the grip. And I power into it. At the same time, I take my thumb and I don't necessarily crank down on the thumb as much as indexing off that spot. Now the key here is not necessarily how hard you grip with the opposite, opposite hand. By the way, my strong hand has virtually no grip and I'll explain in a minute why I do that. Of course it'll help if you power, but what's more important is that you lock the wrist. So meaning you take your wrist and lock it inward and forward so you can manage the recoil pulse up here, lock it tight here, but the pulse will travel through your body on the slightly bent elbow over the shoulder and then dissipate. Now, if you're the type that shoots really rigid, leaning like this, you'll see that your whole body will rotate. If you slightly flex the elbow, shoulders, and lock the wrist, the recoil pulse will travel past your body and dissipate. So that's my goal here. So from the front, it kind of looks like this. I grip the pistol as high as I can with my strong hand. Okay. Over the trigger guard and high on the dust cover. I palm it high on the left side or the support side. Power grip it, thumb down against the takedown lever on my P320. If you don't have one, you can just crank it down this way. Then you push forward, slightly lock, uh, Bend the wrist, correction, the elbow. Lock the wrist inward and try to relax your shooting finger, trigger finger. So that way you have a positive grip, lock wrist, soft elbow and shoulder, and yet your finger can move freely. So you can do the uh, trigger really fast. So uh, let's see what it looks like. Also, after I do this demo of the live fire, I'm going to shoot this gun without any, virtually no grip on my strong hand, my gun hand, like this. And I just work the trigger. Just working on locking the wrist. And the point that I'm going to make there, yes, the grip is important, but the wrist control is the most important. Grip here is just there to stabilize this gun while you power the left hand into it and lock the wrist by elbow slightly inward, like this. So watch the way I'm going to do this shooting here. Here's my X5 with the uh, Romeo 1. Okay. I'm just going to shoot a few rounds here. Just kind of watch the gun. I'm going to power the uh, elbows up, lock the wrist, like this. So, and I'll show you the holes later. You'll see that it's going to be pretty tight. It's about five yards right now. Here we go. I'm going to power the left like this. Uh, I don't know if you can see from that side. Okay, I'm going to lock the wrist. 
Loosen the grip on the, my right hand. Now I'm going to show you how to do this without any grip on the uh, strong hand or my gun hand. Okay. Now, of course, it's not going to be as good. Okay. I'm going to lock the wrist, power grip, release the fingers. Here we go. Now you see, not the greatest grip or uh, group, but given the fact that I have virtually no grip on the gun with my right hand, you know, I can still manage the gun. So that's my take on trigger guard grip. Other people may have a different take on it.